Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. It's another major American holiday and a family tradition, which of course means that liberals are upset about it. The Washington Compost just published this op-ed saying that we should rename Thanksgiving to Indigenous Peoples Day in honor of the Native Americans that the early settlers took advantage of. Thankfully, no pun intended, President Trump addressed this insanity at his campaign rally in Florida the other day. As we gather together for Thanksgiving, you know, some people want to change the name Thanksgiving. They don't want to use the term Thanksgiving. And that was true also with Christmas, but now everybody's using Christmas again. Remember I said that? But now we're going to have to do a little work on Thanksgiving. People have different ideas why it shouldn't be called Thanksgiving, but everybody in this room I know loves the name Thanksgiving, and we're not changing it. Then Never Trumper Max Boot, who also writes for the Washington Post, went on to say that President Trump's claims were absurd, proving that he is a moron and doesn't even read the paper that he writes for. Then the hashtag War on Thanksgiving began trending on Twitter from liberals, quote, mocking Trump and his supporters for claiming that such a thing exists. And that's why the official YouTube Twitter account tweeted out that Thanksgiving is a loaded word and then included a gif showing a bunch of Native Americans tipping over a Thanksgiving dinner table. Happy Thanksgiving, America. And let's not forget that Amy Fowler from The Big Bang Theory, played by Mayam Bialik, has a YouTube channel and did a whole vlog complaining about Thanksgiving because it reminds her of the mass of the Native Americans. And much as I don't want to think that Thanksgiving's about that, it's really hard for me to not think about that when I think about Thanksgiving. Meanwhile, the Huffington Compost is concerned about the quote, environmental impact of your Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> so is Vice News, of course. How much environmental damage did your Thanksgiving dinner do, they ask. Well, somebody better not show them the annual traffic report from a helicopter above the Los Angeles freeway showing the millions and millions of holiday travelers in cars burning fossil fuel on their way to dinner. I mean, what's next? Are they gonna say we need to stop eating turkey and switch to bugs to save the environment? <laughs> oh, wait, what's this? Trying a Thanksgiving feast made from bugs. I am blown away. The, the way that these were worked in, it, it's both so artful and just so natural. Like, it, bug eating is not weird. It's totally awesome. I've had a lot of bug banquets, but this was superb. Guys, thanks for coming to this awesome Thanksgiving dinner with me. I'm thankful for crickets, mealworms, and all the rest. It turns out eating insects isn't that weird for humans after all. We've been doing it for a long time. I'm sorry, sir, but we don't live in a third world country, at least not yet. We're trying to stop the Democrats from making that happen. Meanwhile, on planet Earth, where us normal people reside, President Trump and First Lady Melania participated in the annual pardoning of the turkeys in the White House Rose Garden in true Trumpian fashion. In keeping with that tradition, today I will issue a pardon to a pair of very handsome birds, butter, and his alternate bread. Thankfully, bread and butter have been specially raised by the Jacksons to remain calm under any condition, which will be very important because they've already received subpoenas to appear in Adam Schiff's basement on Thursday. It's true. But the president wasn't done having fun yet before the big holiday weekend. Yesterday, he tweeted out this picture showing his head photoshopped onto the body of Sylvester Stallone. And of course, the liberals weren't happy about that either. The Washington Post reported that Trump tweeted a doctored photo, it was doctored, of his head on Sylvester Stallone's body. And it's unclear why. Well, it might have something to do with the fact that on this day in history, back in 1985, Rocky IV was released. And the president stands victorious, despite all the smears made against him by the liberal media industrial complex. But Americans have so much to be thankful for. The economy is booming, wages are rising, crime is falling, poverty is plummeting, confidence is soaring. And America is stronger than ever before.
Yes it is sir and thank you very much and because today is Thanksgiving you know what that means tomorrow is Black Friday and so in order to save yourself the trouble of finding a parking spot and wasting your time in line surrounded by a bunch of zombies order some of my awesome shirts from my online store at markdice.com or click the link in the description below and use the promo code SAVE20 at the checkout to save 20% this weekend. And for the next four days only, you can get a limited edition, oh wait, what's this shirt, using a special silver foil reflective paint. You can also get the America First design in the limited edition silver foil paint as well. And these pictures don't even do it any justice. Wait till you see it in person. It is awesome. This is what it looks like if you remember my previous limited edition Trump silver silhouette shirt. Just look at how that shines in the light. It is awesome. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below. Use the promo code SAVE20 at the checkout and check them out.